So Brian Peters came out this week and he explained he doesn't think we're going to see Katie back in Ireland anytime soon because of several circumstances, one of which is that it's very hard to put a professional fight on in Ireland right now because of the situation with MTK and because of the fallout still from the shootings at the Regency Hotel, that there's still a huge amount of issues about that, that you simply may not be able to get a licence. Part of me also wonders if they feel that they're in a position whereby if Katie was to come back, they could actually sell enough tickets to fill out the three arena. Yeah, I think a lot of the time if you're talking about sports that are maybe niche or not mainstream, mm. so if you're not talking about soccer or, or rugby, and especially if you're talking about women's sports, you do have to make that connection for people. So a lot of people will, will support her, want her to do well, want uh, women's teams to do well, but they mightn't make that extra effort to actually go to the match or buy a b- box office. I think with Katie it's different. Irish people feel a huge connection to Katie. It, it, at the Olympics in London... Obviously, there was a huge amount of hype because it was so close and it, it was almost like a home Olympics. A huge amount of people went over. Mm. Um, I was over there for... I actually didn't get a ticket to her fight. My sister did, so and I went to the guys' fights. Um, well, I remember. I was at, at all her fights at the Olympics. And I remember Natasha Jonas was her first yeah. fight. And I will never remember. It was proper hairs on the back of your neck yeah. when she emerged. I think it was Rihanna playing. And everyone thought... Because we'd heard so much about Katie. Yeah. We'd rarely seen her in this sort of scenario. And there was such a level of expectation. And it was one of those moments, if you could somehow wrap it all up and sell it, you'd make a fortune. And that was there for those weeks after the yeah. Olympics. And part of me feels... I think we've, I think that connection can be maintained mm. with her. So I think there could be... You know, boxing people are brilliant at creating hype around, <laughs> around a, a, a fight. So I think it, it would happen. I think it would sell out. Um, and I think you're saying about the personality and, and that's, usual, that's usually the case. But I think with Katie, if she just keeps winning, that can be her personality. Just the winning, winning, winning and, no, uh, and I... keeping that kind of can I remain unbeaten? Is that a thing that is possible? We don't know because we don't follow as a nation boxing close enough specifically mm. women's boxing like so I don't know um, I think, that's I think that would keep the, the interest there but that's part of the problem there's no like you know she's just winning every fight you know and I, I don't know if people are kind of going ah okay she's fighting another you know another person getting you know there's no like you know where's the fights where she's like she's won she's had nine fights she's won them all right I think she might only have, uh, maybe you can correct me, Andy, but she's, there's only three that have even gone to decision. Like, I think she's, like, done so many knockouts. Like, basically, she's, there's, where's the, like, huge fight against someone who you never know, you don't know what's going to happen. I think there is definitely a thing where people are just expecting her to sort of yeah, steamroll have, everybody. Uh, um, the problem for her is there's a lack of depth mm. at female professional boxing. The, the fight that she fought last week was a champion for three years, and Katie outclassed her, really, you know. When Katie wanted to, when she wanted to box, she just chose to mix it at times and it, there were, you know, it was kind of even in the mixes, but for the most part, Katie outclassed her. Just going back to like Katie selling out tickets, I think it's very hard. People support boxing but, and our fans, but I don't know if they really, there's not a culture of going to fights in Ireland. I know the Olympics, she saw that like the places were packed in the arena, but I think that was her coupled with the Olympics, you know, paired with the Olympics. It was about, you know, there was the expectation from from Beijing, the team had done so well. Then it was thrown into the Olympics and Katie was such a favourite. And then also being the Olympics in London, there was that kind of, you know... But it, it does take effort. So say hysteria, I think. Like you know, I Leinster know. didn't sell out the semi-final. So you would expect in a rugby mad, at this moment in time, the country is a bit, you know, there's a huge volume of people who are... Leinster supporters or who are Irish supporters just after a Grand Slam you're going into a semi-final you would expect that Aviva to be sold Mm. out it wasn't because the European organisers were taking (laughs) the pocket from it so there was no advantage to Leinster really going and selling those tickets advertising and they sell them differently there was no family tickets available or it was a different pricing structure there was no advertising around so there was no idea that you could go to that match that everyone just presumed it was sold out because it's the Aviva it's a Leinster semi-final in the Champions Cup I only saw one advertisement for it it was a poster outside the Shelburne so you literally (laughs) had to walk by the Shelburne target your audience yeah <laughs> that you could get a ticket for that match and we d- and they didn't sell it out which sounds unbelievable like Grand Slam winning rugby players a few weeks after that in a Leinster semi-final that they were expected to win you can't sell it out so it goes down to being able to you have to sell it you have to advertise mm. it and I think if they advertise Katie in a way that boxing is so capable of doing but the fact that they're not um, even willing even to do in it the, yeah. in, in, the, in the build up to her last fight that there wasn't much press mm. in Ireland done you know that like you said, there was little awareness that it was going, even taking place. 
that doesn't, in my mind, that they they don't feel that they're going to come to Ireland anytime soon because they would start planting the seeds now and promoting her here in all the fights, building her up, and doing a lot more interviews. She'd be pushed for that. So I don't think, like I don't think they see her coming back here anytime soon.